Brothers and sisters, Brother John, Watchman for that great day. I just have a little encouragement to bring you this morning and a little piece of information that I heard in a, a quick little segment of a video as well as a song this morning. Um, I hope you're blessed by this song. Let me bring it up and let me let it play. Here we go. Oh, hold on. Not playing. Hold on a second. Bear with me. Let me get it back to the right spot. <laughs> All right. Ready? Here we go. You'll, you should be blessed by this song. God bless you. Blessed assurance. Jesus was mine. The Lord of God, brothers and sisters, praise God, hallelujah. You know, let me just just bring you that, let me just bring you this piece that I was reading in Romans chapter 12, if it comes up, that we all have different gifts, chapter 12, verse 6 through 12, and I don't know if it's going to come up here, it's, it's, let's see. Chapter 12, and well, I'll just read you 6. I'll just read you 6 through 8. Um, anyway, we have different gifts is what it's telling us. We all have different gifts according to the grace that God is, uh, has given us. If one's gift is prophecy, let him use it in proportion to his faith. In faith, believing, speak. All right, that's the essence. The essence of faith is the things, the evidence of things unseen. So when you speak from your heart, from your belief in faith in Christ, that can be. Um, remember the the spirit of prophecy uh, is is in Jesus Christ. All right, the testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. Therefore, we all have the ability to prophesy and to bring uh, good encouragement and what the rest of this is saying. So in chapter 12, verse 7, it says, If it is serving, if you have the gift of serving, let him serve. If it is teaching, let him teach. If it is encouraging, that's what I believe my gift is. If it is encouraging, let him encourage. If it is giving, let him give generously. 
If it is leading, let him lead with diligence. And if, if it is showing mercy, let him do it in all cheerfulness. So, it's, it's just amazing, brothers and sisters, that we're at a time where it's, there's so much uncertainty, right? But yet we wake up day after day. The night, the night comes and we sleep and we wake up the next day and whatever the day is going to bring us, remember this is the day the Lord has made. So we need to rejoice and be glad in it and realize that we're more than overcomers. We're more than conquerors. We, we are the, the heirs of Christ Jesus. All right? We are his heirs. We've been bought with a price. We're, we're filled with his spirit. Um, he's never leaving us or forsaking us. We're in the time of, in, in, in an afflicted time, which most of us are. We're all in a time of affliction. We're going through trials and tribulations, and not the tribulation, but we're going through tribulation brothers and sisters we have been the the body of Christ has been going through tribulation since the time of Christ all right and that was the deal when Christ came he came to set uh, brother against brother and sister against sister and mother-in-law against sister uh, sister-in-law you know the whole thing God Jesus came not to bring peace but a sword all right so the sword of the spirit all right the sword of his mouth, a sharp, double-edged sword that, sword that cuts both ways. When we use this word of God, when we use the sword of righteousness, the sword of, uh, of the word, we have to be careful and be diligent to use it right and rightly divide this, the truth that's in here. Um, we all are at a point, I believe, in the body where many of us are just one day at a time. It's, it's to a point where we just, we just, we're like the man, the proverbial guy that's crawling in the desert, you know? We're crawling, we're clawing, we're, we're, we have little energy. We just need to get to the top of this, uh, this hill, and it's, it seems like it's 20 feet, and, and we're without any strength at this point, and it's hot, and we're, we're dry and parched, but we know by faith that just over the top of that hill, when we get to the top of that hill and crawl a little bit more, we're going to see that oasis that's right there. And that oasis is our Lord Jesus. And he's conquered, he's conquered sin and death, brothers and sisters. And that's the, heir, that, that's the heir of salvation that we have through Christ Jesus. All right? We are his heirs. So we are more than overcomers. We are... Uh, we are the victors in Christ, all right? Through Christ Jesus, we have the victory. You know, the Bible says we're seated in heavenly places. Now, even though we don't see um, that we are seated in those places, we need to walk by faith, believing that we are totally seated in heavenly places and that the angels are about us and that God is before us and that he's guiding us along. And if we realize and acknowledge that he is before us, then who can be against us? Brothers and sisters, if you're in this world, you're going to have trial. You're going to have tribulation if you're in this world. And if, I'm, if you're watching this video, you are definitely in the world. We're not of the world, but we live in the world. All right? We've been separated from the world, yet we're still living in the world. So to, to be without sin, because sin is literally all around us. You can't do one day without possibly thinking a, uh, a carnal thought or doing something which would be considered, uh, uh, you know, not sinful. All right? There, we do things. We think things. Uh, our mind needs to be renewed. It's a washing with the word each day. None of us is perfect. <laughs> We're all, none is without sin. All right? We're all, we all have sin. All right? Yet, we don't have to live in it, but, we're, but around us, you understand, around us is this sin. And it's always trying to pull down. But we're victory, vic 
uh, victors were, were victorious through Christ in pulling down of these strongholds as long as we acknowledge him in all our ways, as long as we walk each day. We're not, we're not walking tomorrow. We're walking today. Today is the day of salvation. Let, let, today is the day that the Lord God has made for us to walk in. Let us walk in it. We're not promised tomorrow. No one is promised tomorrow. We don't know what's going to happen. If you, if you haven't seen it, um, there's a video that's, go, that, that's going on uh, that was showing just the other day that uh, a busy area of traffic in Israel and this car is moving along and it's a six lane highway and there's a bunch of arrows going you know to the left and straight and to the right and uh, there's cars you know it's traffic traffic is moving along and at one point while you're watching the video a short video there's a missile that hits boom and there's these two cars it looks like it just took them out but these two cars were going fast enough where they were just ahead of it but yet right at the time of the explosion in the fireball they were with involved with that fireball all right imagine if you were in those cars and if somebody was in those cars we pray for those people and their uh and the way that god would cancel out that effect you know the the fear effect that they might get blown up but that was something that happened in those people's lives at the very moment that they're not promised tomorrow you see their tomorrow could have never come if that bomb was was a, a second earlier I mean it was literally a split second if it was a split second earlier they would have taken out that bomb would have taken out two vehicles alright and then maybe others because they're gonna crash and then you, look we know that right now the world is basically in a chaotic state we as believers in Christ don't go along with the chaos all right we need to be patient in these times of affliction that's how we grow and that's if we know who we are we will grow if we know who we are that's a good that's pretty good thank you Lord we're gonna grow stronger if we know who we are in Christ so it's important to wash your mind every day read your word read the Word of God and trust him all right you might be reading in somewhere where it's just talking about the the way Jesus acted towards the crowd or a parable or wherever you're reading in here there's all kinds of teaching there's all kinds of encouragement in the word especially when the Spirit directs you and that's what I believe is happening as we get closer to that day that spirit that's in us is growing stronger and it's guiding us and giving us that patience in the time of affliction all right that's what we're here to do is to learn that patience and remember what Revelation chapter 3 says and I'm gonna read it Revelation, Revelation chapter 3 verse 10 because thou has kept the word of what my patience we're to be patient in our affliction affliction is anything that's on you today and anything and that that would come against you demonic attacks uh, 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 disease or sickness or or hardship whatever this whatever the thing is that's coming on us today just today not tomorrow we're not worried about tomorrow whatever is happening in our lives today we need to be patient in our affliction and we need to trust God and remember what he said in Revelation 3:10. because thou has kept the word of my patience this is what we're learning brothers and sisters patience many of us just sometimes just can't make it just even another hour come Lord Jesus is the cry of our heart but we are learning patience and you you can attest to that if you're if you're living in the world today watching this video you can attest to we are learning how to be patient okay we're not gonna have to be patient much longer though but the thing is the time that we're in now we have to be patient 
that patience keeps us from joining in the chaos that is the world. All right? If you're patient in your affliction, in your time of trial, in your time of sickness, if you're uh, uh, being patient with others, all right? If you're leaving, if you're praying for others, not tearing them down, if you're praying for others and lifting them to God, and being patient, waiting, and long-suffering to see what's going to happen in that person's life, especially if they're unsaved, especially if they're family members, all right? This is the day that we're learning patience today. We're not guaranteed tomorrow. So learn the patience and be persistent today, all right? That's the message I wanted to bring, bring to you today. And I hope that you're blessed with it. And I just thank you for even for tuning in and watching. And I'll give you the, the shofar blast, as I always like to do, because I know you all love to... I have many people, some people say, oh, I can't stand it. There's so many people that, that just love to hear the sound of the shofar. And I ask a blessing on it that it would break any yoke of bondage that's upon you or your family or your friends or anyone that you've tried to share the gospel with. Lord, let this sound be anointed and let it break the chains. There's a good song by uh, the Gaither vo uh, voice uh, uh, Gaither group. All right, uh, It's called The Chain Breaker. I love that song because Jesus... You know, he's a chain breaker, all right? When you, when you acknowledge him in all your ways and you go through your day, he'll break your chains, all right? So I ask an anointing on the blast and then I just close out the video. Thank you, Lord, for this, for this uh, anointed blast. In Jesus' name, take your earbuds out. brothers and sisters <laughs> I'm telling you I always get a blessing when I blow this thing it is it is it is it's just to me it's like a, a charge all right it's like a charge and as I'm blowing it I, I just I don't know if it's the the frequency or what but it's it's not always the same frequency if you notice it goes high and low a little bit but um, it is a blessing to me and I hope it was a blessing to you and I just, the word of the day is to be patient and acknowledge him and walk in this day. This day, not tomorrow. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about this week. Don't worry about next week or next month or anything. It's one day at a time. And if you take one day at a time, you're going to make it. You're going to make it. Sometimes you need to just take even, I'm going to do something great. Just for the next hour, I'm going to study or I'm going to, you know, go and, and take God's word and, and, and read it, okay? So be blessed today, brothers and sisters, and keep watch, all right? Because Jesus said that if you don't watch, I'll come in an hour that you would that you would not suspect, all right? So Brother John, watchman for that great day, which is soon coming. I love you all. Truly, agape love to you all. God bless you. Brother John, out.